Hi, and welcome back to another video here in the Asebu Pan African Village. So, this is an update on one of the two bedroom houses that we are having done here. Um, so, I'd like to show you how far we've gone with it. So, let's just flip over the camera and in your shot, you can see the um, house. So, we've actually blocked up all the way to lentil level. We've also had the steel installed for all the columns. So, what is actually being done now is we are securing the edges of all the columns and then we have the concrete cast so now let's take a walk into it or before going into it let's just take a walk around it and then see the various section so over here we have the front porch which has three columns so these are going to be square columns uh with the um, yeah the square columns so we'll be renting modes to do that and then to the right hand side we have um should i say the master bedroom and uh has two uh windows to the front and then one window to the side now this this adds a little bit of design to the house so this is like a panel window which we have over here and then this is the actual uh window so let's just take a walk around it towards the side so let me just yeah so that's that's the master bedroom and then so one window here one main window here another one here and then when we take a walk further we come to the master bedroom washroom over here which is this one and then the next one is going to be the shared um, uh, washroom, which is this. And then from here, you have the next one, which is the um, other bedroom here. So let me just take a walk around it. And then to the back, you have the another bedroom, um, another window for the bedroom. And then you have the, um, the storeroom here. So this is the back, and then this is the back porch of the kitchen or of the house. So this is also going to have square columns as well. Now we come back to the side, you have the kitchen and then you have the living area. So there's an open concept um, living area and then kitchen. So the kitchen and then the living area is together. Now it looks like the kitchen, they are missing one block here. So I'll have them add that, that to it. And then it becomes uh, a little bit higher than these windows. So now let's take a walk inside. Let's go through the porch, the front porch. So in front of the porch, you're going to be having stairs that is going to span all the way from here, the left column here, all the way to maybe somewhere in the, um, after the middle column. And then that side is probably going to have a balustrade or something. So uh, later, and once we get there, we'll figure out how to go about it. So let's take a walk inside. So this is the um, living area. This is the main entrance. This is a four feet um, door. So this is going to be a four feet security door. Now, once you take a step into it, you notice that this is really spacious, I must say. So this is the living area slash the kitchen. The kitchen is going to go all the way to the corner. So from probably this column here going all the way to the side is going to be the kitchen. You're going to be having the sink here. So that's a pipe for the drainage or the sink. And then you have the utility room here and then you have the store room here so um the mission was my mission was suggested why don't you add it to it i was like uh because you're going to be having you know the electrical means and the rest coming through to this particular window um this particular section is not advisable to put them together so that's how come we are separating it so we have the utility room here and then you have the store room here and then uh, also, the reason why we chose to put a utility room here is because this place is very closer to the entire building. So if we have all the cables and everything coming in here, it will save some money as compared to having it come to this particular point. So we are using this for utility room. Now, there's a window here, which is going to allow in light and then also um, air. And we decided to put one here as well, which is also going to be able to have light enter into this particular space. So you don't have to use you know um, light during the daytime so from the living area then you take a walk into a passageway here so to my left is to one of the bedrooms or the guest bedrooms and then the shared washroom and then to my right is the master bedroom as well as the master uh, bathroom so now i take a walk into this space so this uh, the size of this space is 12 feet square so 12 feet by 12 feet and then the size of the bathroom is um, six feet by eight feet. So that's the size of the bathroom. I think six feet by, yeah, it has seven or eight feet, yes. That's the size. And then 
for here you have the pipes so we use the uh, class b pipe or pressure pipes for the waste uh, solid waste and then the liquid waste so this is a drainage around this area and then that's uh, drainage for the bathroom and then we have the basin in the middle as well now yeah so as i was saying earlier outside you have the panel window there and then you have the two windows so this is going to add a little bit of design to the house once it's done so we casting um, the column over here yeah uh, so that that's what it looks like in the master bedroom now let's take a walk into the guest bathroom or guest uh, or the shared uh, washroom so that is what we have here so it's also having the same size as that of the master uh, bathroom so this is also six feet by eight feet here yeah, six feet by eight feet and just as we saw we have the the waste water for the bath section we have the basin in the middle and then we have the solid waste and then you have another drainage by the um, the wc now from there you come into the master bedroom this is also 12 feet by 12 feet so uh, well there isn't any so much of uh, difference in terms of the size of the, the the bedrooms it's just that the only the other one has access to a washroom right from the bedroom as this one will have to share a washroom over here so that's probably just the difference but aside from that the size is the same so as you can see we are having the woodworks to secure um, the column so that the concrete can be cast so that is what is currently being done uh, as and now so hopefully we'll have the concrete cast anytime soon and then um, we'll continue the lentil and then we continue blocking up now um, the window so in the living area we have three windows so this one which is four feet that is the width and then the height is also supposed to be four feet and then you have this one also over here and then you also have another one here and then for the kitchen area that is five feet where we are going to be having the sink um yeah so this is five feet the height is supposed to be about three feet so we'll be blocking up one more course for that particular section and then for the storeroom as well as the bathrooms and then also the utility room is supposed to be two feet so also we're supposed to have one more course cover up there so we have two feet at the top likewise for that particular section and then from there when you come to the bedrooms so the sizes of the windows we have here are all five feet five feet so this is five feet this is five feet now this is two feet and then the height is supposed to be four feet and then from there when you come over here i saw this is also five feet um width and then the height is five feet and then also five feet here and then the height is also four feet so um as you can see that's what it looks like and when you look outside from the window this is what you see you see the hills and valleys and then a lot of uh, trees all around so this spot i must say is not a bad spot at all it looks really nice from this particular point and it looks like there's a neighbor who has uh, constructed a fence over here so the, the the plots here almost majority of them are not in a perfect square so from this particular uh, shot you can even see you notice that the distance from the building to the wall some point is more closer this side is more closer than the other side i don't know how come they did the demarcation that way anyway so um this is what it looks like over here what we've done so far and um one thing i think i showed you probably didn't speak about it was the back porch which is here uh for the kitchen so you can probably just use this section as a, like a small laundry um area or if you have things to do here you can you know um, do them here as well so far we've used 1350 pieces of five inches solid blocks and um, 30 bags of cement that is for the superstructure uh, all the way up to lentil and then for the steel we've used 23 pieces of um, 12 millimeters um, rods and then also 10 pieces of 38 rods now the height of the steel is 10 feet so that's where we intend to block up um, all the way to that is after the lentil concrete so this is what the building looks like as of now hopefully in the coming weeks we'll be done with um, the block works and then we move on to roofing and then from there um, do the internal works and so on so um, that would be just about it for this uh, video 
in case you are new to this channel kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video you get to see it and try as much as possible to also like and share with other people so i'll see you in the next one